Hello and welcome to the creative experience. Today, I guess, is going to be my other known as 120 photos. Hey, what's Tell up? What's up? Yourself. Yeah, I'm a portrait photographer out in Dallas. Um, been shooting for like five, five, six years. So, um, recently went to film and just. <laughs> like, I'm trying, I'm trying. To... It's weird to, just talking about myself because it's no, like, yeah, yeah. I'm a photographer, I shoot. You know, I do this, but it's like... I couldn't imagine being in that seat. Right? Yeah. Because <laughs> <It's like, laughs> I'm always, like, cause I'm always like, doing the interview. And yeah. I like meet... 90% of my interviews, I'm meeting that person for the first time. So I'm nervous, too. It, it's yeah. Like, you're it's, talking about yourself. It's different. Like, me, I feel like I'm more authentic when I'm vulnerable. Like, I feel, like, so shut off a lot of times. I shut myself off from people. And me, like, being vulnerable through my post mm -hmm. is me just that, that vent that, you know, this is me like I'm hoping somebody kind of like vibe with this people do and it's just like I feel like I feel like being open it lowers everybody's barrier because I feel like mm -hmm. everybody operates like that so okay it gives them a more authentic feel yeah like, like I feel like people like you I want to make work that's like that resonates with people and that is it's not just like something that you just put out there just for like a click. It's just something that I really feel like I put a lot of work and I put a lot of time and thought into like what I do. And so when I put it out there, I want you to feel it. Exactly. I want you to feel what I'm feeling. Like this is like a lot of my personal um, thoughts or how I, how I operate. And I don't even share like a lot of stuff. Like I don't talk on there. I don't put myself out there as much as I should. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is like the, my best way to do it, like through my photography, through my through my eye. So like, how does like 35 millimeter photos like tie into that? Because it's like 35 millimeter and 120. Like, okay, you really... but, but it's, it's, it's just like, it's just film, man. It's just like 120 is like the main thing I was, I was shooting at. I was shooting on my um, 645. And that format, it's just really, um, I like it because it's like it's the most economic out of all the formats. Like you have six by seven, you have six by um, nine, and I feel like six four five, that is is made like directly for like I feel like Instagram. Mm -hmm. So like one twenty is the main thing. I was, I was using that that film for a little bit, and then I went back to thirty five because it's way more convenient. It's way more like way more um, to work with, but. It's just film, man. Like, I, I love film. I love, like, different, like, stocks. Like, I love different cameras. I love um, just how it, it all has, like, a different character to it. Mm -hmm. You know, like, and then shooting it is just, like, you shoot it and you just forget about it. And then you just, like, you're, so you're more in the moment. Exactly. So you're shooting out there. You, you hit that, uh, you get that shot and you feel it. And this is, like, you know, and you don't have to look at it. You're just like, okay, I got it. You okay. just keep moving. You just keep you keep going. Um, but yeah. Um, so you consider yourself like more of a storyteller than a photographer. I'm a storyteller, teller, and um, I like to just give vibes. Like I like <laughs> this. This so fucking corny, but I like to like the the put emotion into like the shot. Mm -hmm. So you feel something when you look at it. So it's some. It's not just something like oh, it's, it's cool, and you just keep going. You know, scrolling or whatever. It's like when I. Well, I'll put my work out there. I want you to kind of just look at it and just really take it in. So it's just like I'm really trying to like put something in there you, that you can feel. Um, who, who did you like see? Like everybody has some type of inspiration. It's corny to be like, what's your inspiration? But it's uh, like, who did you see and you're like, wow, this is like. I say Will and Verbeck. Ver mm -hmm. Verbeck. I, I don't, I'm pretty sure I fucked his name up, but. Like, he's the, one of the main people that I look to as a film photographer. Like, he really got me into, like, the whole hype when um when it first started coming. I think it was, like, last year, mm -hmm. before the boom, and then it's, like, everybody's a film photographer. But, like, just looking at his work and looking at his process. Let me get some water real quick. Just looking at his process, it's just, like, it's so... Um, Organic is it so like just watching him just go through a shot and the whole process of him just like working and it's just like He's making art and you're watching it as it happened and it's like this and, and witnessing his eye And it's like I like I like working with uh, watching people like that mm -hmm. to see how they create and I don't really follow like a lot of um, Older photographers like I, I do have like a book a book from um, 
with Helmut Newton. And um, like I like people with like with a certain eye, but I don't really go for like older artists. I like newer artists. I like um, people that's now just because that, that's what people like. They don't want that that the current stuff. So I like to stay current with um with my inspiration. But what does like style mean to you? Cause, like, style. Yeah, like tying style. You know, like, you do. Um, I feel like style is like. Uh, a form of expression, like how you how you want the world to see you, and and some people like it's interesting to see how certain people display themselves, like how like it can be like vibrant, it can be um, dark and moody, and then like and having people um, different people capture that. Like me, I do kind of try to style like certain models myself, and I try to like I'm not I'm not good at it, I'm not professional, I'm not. It's just me playing with it, but it's like I like to have that kind of control and like put my style out there, how I want you to look to the world. You know, because sometimes you you'll see a model, you'll see somebody that that has potential, and you just like I see them in this, I see them in that, and you just kind of like it's like playing like dress up, like yeah. dressing up a doll or what. You just like and you just put it together, and then then you shoot it, and then boom, it's yours. You just created your own fucking like concept. And yeah, man, like I'm not too big on on fashion, but mm-hmm. there's like other people I look at, like um, Obi, Obi. Um, I don't even what's his whole name. I, I can't. I'm not even gonna fuck Obi. his name up. Obi. I'm just gonna call him Obi. Yeah. Like I love Obi. I love Kevin. Like those are two people I look at at for fashion or just for inspiration. Like them two other. I love their eye when it comes to when it, when it comes to that. But yeah. Okay. So developing, because you develop, as you develop, like you're, you're presenting yourself to people. So like as you develop and get better, and do you think that you're progressing as a person as you're doing that? Like putting yourself out there, like you're giving like that piece of you. Do you feel like that does something for you as well? I mean, just, I guess me sharing it and me like growing through these uh, experiences and creating different work is just like, it's not even, I don't even know if it's developing or it's just like, it's, it's just, just me going. It's just me, this is life and I'm just going and it's at different stages. And so me being more open, me doing what I'm doing, it's just like, I can see the progress. I can see the difference, the, the different stages of my life. And so it's just like, I don't even know if it's progression or if it's just like different points where I'm at. And so it's just like, if I take a picture and I don't, I, I take another picture like a year from now, it's just like different moods. It's not even, I don't even think it's like a, a point of getting better or developing. It's just like, you know? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, and you got the interview. What would you want to like leave everyone with? Like, what would be your closing statements? Oh, uh, shit, man. Um, the shoot film, save film, um, they just, I guess, what's that? Fuji? Mm-hmm. Fuji just went out. Fuji on um, Pro 400H just went out. So it's just like, we got to save film. Like, I I really feel like that's, that's giving me anxiety. Like, that's giving me anxiety. The fact that film may no longer be here. And mm-hmm. just seeing it in my time, seeing, like, film just, like, getting discontinued just like that. And it's just like, oh, shit. Like, and then you seeing the prices go up. Like, Kodak's taking advantage. They're going, like, they... I think this is like the second time they went up on prices, so it's just like, uh, you know, like, this might not last. This is like a finite, you know, situation. You hear people, I hear people talk on Clubhouse about like, there's gonna be new different um, stocks of film, but it's just like, you know, like, I think more people now has gotta be more vocal on um, supporting people that shoot film and create the, or keep the demand going for it. So it's, it's it stays alive, because I think that's something like, I've been thinking about like this shit might not be here next year due to coronavirus and everything that's going on in the world. So, shoot more film. Um, and that's it. Okay, perfect. So, this is the creative experience. This is actually-